getting a lot of call from farmers asking me about the state of the goat industry, the impact importation, and how they think the goat industry is heading to a downfall. And personally, I don't believe that. I think the problem that we have is that we don't seem to be able to separate the two different aspects of it. Goat for meat and goat for genetics. Yes, the focus on goat for genetics, and I can tell you why. The average farm out there really have less than probably 50 heads. In really and truly cannot tackle the meat market. I can count on the amount of fingers I have here, how much farmers have over 100 breeding females, and that's a problem. Him really and truly won't make any money from operating a meat goat farm. So if a farmer realizes that an animal can be sold at premium price just because of the looks of the animal, the cut of a brown head and a white body or a long ears, that's a definitely good market for him to make some money. And people follow the money. So there's two things I want to address. How is it that we can solve this issue of commercializing goat for meat? One, we need the association, for example, um, the Agri-Investment Corporation and RADA to really outline what a commercial meat goat operation look like, the profit to be made, and how you manage the operation. And to be honest with you guys, if you look into a thousand heads of goat or sheep, the capital investment is about $42 million. A lot of farmers really and truly cannot find that money to start up such an operation. You'll have to start much smaller. The second thing that I've always said for farmers to do is to form an organization where small farmers can come together and tackle the market as a group. I made this challenge to you guys some time back to say, hey, why not every farmer supply one goat, the goat that you know won't be sold for the premium price and send it to the curry pot? That is the solution. So guys, the blame is really not on the system, but more on the farmer's inability to organize to tackle large markets where money can be made. So that is my challenge again to your farmers. Let us group up. Let us see how we can really tackle the goat market by numbers, but as an organized group.